Hey folks, welcome back to another trade breakdown, uh, 11th of January, 2024. So frustrating streams, uh, good, good streams. Um, but I did take a loss first and then had to give it the second, the second trade in both the streams, the London stream and the New York stream, the first trade lost the second trade won. So a bit annoying, a bit annoying to get those first losses. Um, cause it does impact the way I manage the trade to get that like clean slate. Um, I'll run through them and we'll have a look at the thought process behind, um, this is German. I haven't replayed anything. This is just how it was. Um, you can see that we had been in a very bullish trend. Um, I was looking for buys immediately. Um, we sealed like a pretty volatile Asian session and then free London pushed up. At the start of the open, I wanted to see a pullback. I wanted to see a pullback to this gray area. Oh, that's sorry, the gray area, this, um, this red area. And this was the idea that I had in mind for price to pull back. It opened. This is the open candle. And you see like it just wicked down really, really quick. Just didn't quite get to my zone to buy. And then price started pushing up. And then I actually switched my bias then thinking that we hadn't hit this level yet. So there's a good chance that we dip down further and then we then we go long. So I try to get a bit cute with it. Um, and then take the sell. <laughs> I got there's a it's kind of when I look at it now, it's a perfect seller's trap. Um, anyway, it created the resistance, gave the liquidity candle, rejected off this area, gave a second one, and then as it came back, I entered on the sell, kept the stop fairly tight. You know, it was like um, it was like oh, oh maybe it was about twenty pips, twenty pips maximum. It was, it was 15, 15 and twenty pips. Anyway, um, didn't last. It lost. Um, had to just bite down on the mouth guard and like just wear it. Then it did push up and it gave a beautiful sell signal again, this next five minute candle over here. Uh, the same thing I did yesterday. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't really appreciate the area to the left as much as I should have. Cause like just a reminder of yesterday's trade, uh, which was from from this area no wait a second where was it from yeah sorry it was a buy yesterday that's right i've got to refresh my memory i took a buy a little bit too early into this area um and then this was a break even and then we got the win from this candle and then price is able to push up through this through this area what i didn't respect was the five minute structure over here to the left that it took a little bit of time to get through it and then I kind of did the same thing today. As it as price pushed through, I didn't respect the five minute structure from ways to the left over here. That I should have this this first gray area. That I should have waited for it to properly get into the structure and then reject from the top. So that was a little bit of an oversight on my behalf. Um, I'll learn from this. Anyway, um, gave it a second chance, got the liquidity candle and then entered into the cell as soon as that one closed. I believe the actual entry was in the three minute time frame. And the way I, got, I secured some when it came down to this area and made back this loss, then the runner closed out in full. And I wish I held this runner. Wish I held not the not just a runner. I wish I wish I left a runner for, for CPI. <laughs> but CPI is a bit of a roll of the dice, so... Could have been a lot further, um, but either way, it was still a very, very nice trade. In the end, just had to give it a second chance. So a bit annoying taking the loss, but the first, the second one was a good one. Now, Naz for the New York stream. This is frustrating again. So I took a, a loss initially on uh, the first, my first entry. We'll go to the three minutes. It was when price it was a bit of an anticipation entry so pretty risky but i was anticipating that this area would hold a little bit more and i saw like this little little tiny bit of support price came down and i was i was hoping that this candle was just going to reject pretty quickly and then push up i kept my stop really tight on this one because i didn't want to it was pretty pretty aggressive um just burnt me almost immediately so that's all good um it was a high risk trade. So yeah, at the end of the day, that's fine. Um, the CPI print came out. This is the CPI candle and it came out hot. Um, so higher than expected. But one one read doesn't change the ultimate trend. 
And I thought that they would just eventually shrug it off. So I was pretty keen to give the buyers a chance. And I was actually targeting. The first one was just looking for a bit of a scalp. And then the second one, I was actually going to target the New York high and give a really nice risk reward entry. Um, I really thought that like some for, for from a fundamental perspective, what I was thinking was that the CPI came in hot, but the market, I don't think the market really believes there's going to be five or six rate cuts, even though that's what they're kind of pricing in. But I don't think they believe the Fed where the Fed is saying only like, you know, two to three rate cuts, especially starting halfway through the year. So this, I felt like this was just opportunity for price to pull back, but I did think the buyers were still going to step in and really drive price higher again and sort of just shrug off that CPI print. Um, so I did give an entry. Price came down to this red section, and I really like this red area. If you look at the 30-minute chart, this red zone was this liquidity candle right over here. So a lovely, lovely-looking candle. All I needed to see was a bit of a rejection from over here, and then I'll take that long, and I was hoping it would be able to push all the way back up to this New York high. Um, the entry I got was, it was kind of like a, it was on the one minute, so it was a little bit a little bit aggressive. Um, but what I and another um, some of the students we've been talking to, about recently is is combining like two candles. So I saw this as a rejection candle, and then I saw this as a nice little push up, and then combining both of these these guys together, kind of is a bullish engulfing bar, engulfing the candle to the left of it. So waited for price to come back down to the high of the previous candle, candle number one, I guess you'd call it. Um, and then as it, as it came down, entered into a buy, okay? And this one, this was a beautiful move. Pushed up um, 90 pips from the low, from the low here to the high. Uh, I scaled out pretty much most of it at 70. So from, from here up to this level, this is where I was um, scaling out most leaving a runner. I was hoping to scale in further into this one. Um, as price came down, I was hoping that it pushed up, created that little high and then pulled down and then closed above and then I'll take it long. But I didn't like how it pushed up, kind of consolidated and then started driving up higher. Um, didn't didn't meet my criteria for scaling in. So I scaled out of this guy and left my runner. I was hoping the runner would just hold, but price had other ideas in mind. Came down, dropped through, this bit of structure, once it eventually gave, this gave clean candles and then it reacted from this level. And man, I wish I got in that move late. I did say like probably London close into six o'clock when the treasuries auctions, bond yield auctions would, would take place. You'll see the investor side behavior really sort of just shrug off this this high, high hot CPI print. And that's what we saw, you know, bloody 140 pips, I think from low to high. Oh no, more, 240, geez. Missed opportunity here. From a um, higher time frame perspective, one thing I think I should have been a bit more mindful of and look at like it's a bit late for me anyway. Um, but looking cast my eye over to the left, we've got a New York 50%. Okay, from here to here. You can see where this this ratio here, this this line and this London high meet. So you got New York 50% liquidity, London high liquidity. So this area would have been a lovely area to be looking for that reversal. And indeed, that's where it went. So something I'm going to talk about in the study session for this weekend. Beautiful moves. Really happy with the day. Just, I guess it was just the first entry. It was a little bit of a fizzer. But overall, very nice. Um, you know, ended up as a good day. Good day. Can't complain. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you give this channel give it, uh, some love. Give, us, give it a like on the, on the video. Free education at the moment. So it's the least you guys can do. Just help me support and grow this channel. Get it out there for more people. So appreciate it, guys. See you for London Open tomorrow.